Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm showing you iPhone 16 hidden features you probably didn't know about. Now these iPhone 16 tips and tricks for iOS 18 or iOS 26 include secret settings and Apple intelligence tools that will make your iPhone way more powerful. Let's get started. With the iPhone 16, you can double tap on the back of your iPhone to take a screenshot, open control center or launch apps. All customizable, in the accessibility settings. So for this, open your settings application here, scroll down to accessibility, tap on touch, and then scroll down to back tap. It should be the last option. From here, you can set up double taps or triple taps to perform various actions. So first off, let's just say we wanted the back tap to bring us to our home screen. We can tap on home, and now anytime we're in an application, all we have to do is just double tap on the back of our phone and it'll bring us home. Now, one thing to keep in mind with this is some of these options work better than others. So go through them, give them a test and see which one you like best. And if you want to set up two sets of taps, you can set up the triple tap in the same fashion. For the next iPhone 16 tip, you can actually play background sounds like rain, ocean, white noise, and this will help you relax. You'll find this again in the settings application, tap on accessibility. This time we're going to find the audio and visual section here. So you're going to scroll down right here, and then you're going to tap on background sounds. Now here you get to choose the sounds right here, like rain. If you tap on it, you have all of these different ones here. And all you have to do is choose the one you want and then just make sure that background sounds is turned on. That's it. Additionally with this, you can go into your control center, tap and hold and then add a control. Just search here for background and you'll see background sounds appears. Tap on that to add it to your control center. And now you can turn it on and off just by tapping on that little control center icon. You can even tap and hold here to bring up all of those options like that so that you can set the volume, the sound, and the option you want. The next iPhone tip is locking apps with Face ID. For example, I locked my home app here, so it's always going to ask me for Face ID to unlock it. Now, the way you set these up is extremely simple. First, you have to find an app that allows this. You're going to tap and hold on that specific app. If you don't see it in this list, that means the app cannot be locked with Face ID or anything else. But just for this example, let's say we want to lock our Playground app. You tap and hold. You can see it says Require Face ID. It'll prompt you like this. Read through this and tap Require Face ID. You'll need to provide your Face ID to enable it. But now anytime we open up Playground, it's going to ask us. I bring my face close by. And right there, it's going to let me in to my Playground app. So if you're looking for a little bit more security in your apps, you want to lock them up with Face ID, this is how you do it. The next iPhone tip is a drag and drop across apps. And if you have an iPhone 16 or even iPhone 17, pretty much any recent iPhone, this should work for you. And basically, it's going to be an improvement on your productivity. So for example, here, let's go and open up some photos. I'm going to grab this one. You hold on it and you want to be able to move it around. You can see it's moving here. I'm going to close this app while I'm still holding. So it's a two handed process. You're going to open up messages or whatever other app and then you just release and it's going to then place that into the image. You can then send it out. You can use this with notes, mail, other things like links as well will work the same way. So if you're looking to speed things up, this is a great way to improve productivity with the iPhone. The next iPhone tip is Apple Intelligence Cleanup Tool. I've showed this a few times. We're going to look at this again. We're going to open this up here, and this is going to give you the ability to clean up various photos, pictures, or things like that. And this is great if you have something, someone, or a feature thing that's supposed to be not in the photo, you can remove them like a photo bomber. So this one right here, we're going to tap on that. We're going to tap edit here. It's going to open up these editing tools. We're going to tap clean up. And sometimes it takes a few seconds here. It's preparing and then you'll be able to clean things up off the image. So for me, I don't have any suggestions. You might see some that are suggested. You can tap on those, but otherwise you're just kind of circling or coloring in what you want to remove. So let's say I just wanted to remove this one from my image. And again, somebody photo bombing or anything like that. Give it a second here and it's going to remove it and create the best background it can. You can see here it didn't do the greatest job at 
cleaning it up, but then you can come back across here and just kind of fix it a little bit more and hopefully it will be do a better job, which it did. And when you zoom out, it's a little bit better. You can do the same thing with anything in photos. The more crowded the photo is, the harder it's going to be for the AI or Apple intelligence to kind of create the better background. But try it out, use it. If you're looking for a full tutorial on this, click the card up top, and it'll show you more about it. The next tip is also great. And this involves these two volume rockers on the side of your phone. When you press them, you can see you get this like icon there. One part of this tip is that you're able to slide up and down like this. So basically that's like a hidden volume control shortcut when you press the button. However, a lot of people want to change the ringer volume with these buttons. And as it stands now, it's only going to change the volume of what's playing or the sound that comes through the phone via media or things like that. If you wanna be able to actually control the ringtone volume with these buttons, what you're gonna do is open up your settings. You're gonna scroll down and you wanna find the sound option here. I think I passed it. Nope, there it is. Sounds and haptics. You're going to then select change with button. So turn that on. Now you won't have that slider here. You actually get ringer volume at the top. This way you can control how loud your ringer volume is with the buttons on the side. Let me know if that one was your favorite because I get that question a lot. The next iPhone tip is custom vibration alerts and this ties in with the sound a little bit as well. Basically, you're going to be able to set up custom vibration and alerts for calls, texts on your iPhone. You can create your own patterns, sounds and things like that as well. So open up your settings once again, sounds and haptics. And this time we're gonna tap on any one of these tones. For example, let's just go with ringtone. At the top, you can see haptics. Right now it's set to synchronize. You can go through all these options of different ways that it vibrates. So heartbeat kind of sounds like a heartbeat rapid. So it's going on, 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 or you can actually go down here and create. So you're going to tap to create the vibration pattern. So if you use a beat or whatever you want. So for me, I'm going to just start tapping and then I'll stop it. I'm going to save it. I'm going to call it custom or whatever. I'll just say that. And now it's there as well. I can tap on it. And it's giving me that vibration sound. Hard for you guys to hear here, but it is something different that a lot of people don't use or even know about. Give it a try. Let me know what you think in the comments. The next tip is a hidden camera level. The iPhone camera has a hidden level feature. And basically when you turn on grid in settings, you'll see a crosshair that helps you take perfectly straight overhead shots. So for this, you're gonna open up your settings application once again. This time you're gonna scroll down to camera and then you're gonna tap on this grid icon. You wanna make sure that it's turned on so you can see that grid. By default, you don't see the grid in your camera. You can see it's just blank. When you turn the grid on, you get that cross sort of effect and you can see it right here. This is something to do with the level of thirds, but I use it to basically take perfectly straight shots or overhead shots. Tying back into sound, the next tip is haptic keyboards. Now for me, typing feels way better with the iPhone haptic keyboard. All you have to do is open up your settings here. You're gonna scroll down again to sounds and haptic, then scroll down right here, keyboard feedback, and just make sure that haptic is on. If you want, turn sound off as well so you don't get that sound click, but this is great because now anytime you type something, you're gonna get a little haptic feeling when you tap. I like it, I use it a lot. It does waste a little bit more battery. So if that's an issue for you, this one might not be a great option to turn on. So that is the iPhone hidden features and secret tricks that you can start using right now with iOS 18, iOS 26, iPhone 16, 15, 14, and even the new iPhone 17s when they're out. These iPhone tips and settings make your phone faster, smarter, and more fun. If you found this helpful, don't forget to subscribe to DHTV for more iPhone tips, tricks, and tutorials, and Apple intelligence guides. Try to post one video every week. And if you wanna learn even more, check out my iPhone 16 camera tutorial. The link to that is in the video description or the full playlist of iPhone tips, tricks, and tutorials to give you the most out of your iPhone. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.